Hey everyone, Pascal Andy here for the Ask Me About Your Website show. And today I want to talk about the future of learning online, right? Uh, it could be such a big deal if it, if it would be easy or even easier learning online than on a one-to-one -one conversation. So I explored this and I'm actually living it as a student in a course. So check this out. I'm taking a course with Seth Godin and he is a great author. If you don't know him, Seth Godin, awesome blog, he posts every day. And <clears throat> the main reason I decided to sign up for this course is to understand the dynamic that happens between a thousand people who takes a course online, right? So I did many, many courses uh, like on Udemy, on Skillshare, things that are really technical or things that are more on the marketing or entrepreneur side of uh, a field. But uh, this is really like you, you're watching a video, you do, you do your things, you move on and you do it really for yourself. All good and that's the beauty of the internet, right? We can learn so many stuff around YouTube and those sites. But what Seth Godin is really trying to accomplish here is to create little communities when we are learning. And I had, a, I would say, my, my idea on, on how it should work. And, you know, like, should we follow a video and having conversation in Slack about those videos? I mean, it's easy with one video, but what, what about when you have 10 videos what about when you want to talk about something else than those videos? What about you want to talk about, oh, I need help just technically about something? And communications get be, can, can get very like hard to follow. So uh, it's the idea of creating chats, uh, sorry, channels on Slack would be the good idea, but Slack is not really free, right? So over time, you're getting uh, your message hidden by the system. And if you want to have your story, you need to pay. And I'm like, huh, I love Slack, but I don't want to build my business around it. And there is this uh, other platform that uh, Seth Godin just changed, whatever, they use another, another one. It sucked and they updated like yesterday and they are using this course. And this course is awesome. It's basically a platform uh, for hosting a forum and it is open source. So basically, I'm really thinking hard of um, hosting this uh, for myself and for future clients. And I really like the dynamic here. So here's the dynamic on Seth Godin, and this is what I, why I wanna share it with you because I think this is the key to be able to work together <clears throat> remotely. The key here is Seth Godin uh, format is it's 100 days and is gonna share 50 videos. So basically a video every two days, something like that. And then he has um, 15, oh, sorry, 50 categories, basically less than one, two, three, up to 50, 50 categories. And then each of us can post our answers in the category, and then we can just publish what we have to say, like it's a, like a forum. And then it's very easy to see everyone's comment then we can click on it and respond and get really conversation about things. And everything is well, well made. The notification are, are, uh, are great. The iOS app is great. And I love this format, right? This format that I can teach or you can teach something via a video or few videos. And then there's a community in parallel that can chat around those videos. And then what can uh, we do about that is that we can each other learn to, uh, to do better or to interpret things together. And then it helps the person who creates the content to, uh, to get better and better and better. And probably do an, another video or edit an extended video version. And then uh, life is moving on. So um, this is a this is probably what I'm gonna do here for uh, FirePress, I would say clients. So people who have uh, went through the trial 
and then after the trial they are paying by per month or per year, I'll probably uh, publish, not probably, I'll publish everything you need to know on the blog, so it's public, but then if you need to talk about something, hey, uh, I would like to do this, it's like, it's a kind of like that, but I want to do something like this that would do that, da, 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 da. and you want to talk to someone about that, so I'll, I'll be there in this community, and it's going to be really like reserved for our, um, for our clients, and what it's going to do, it's going to help the community to stay on, I would say, an higher level of quality, like, you know, like, no spam, no, like, um, this sucks, and the person is gone forever, right? So, um, that's the idea, and this is where I'm going. Um, right now, I still have <clears throat> some technical challenge, so I don't really go there yet, and I can't wait to do this. Uh, I'm taking the time <laughs> to do this video, and I'm thinking about that, like, here, the little devil is say, hey, you need to figure this out. Um, so this is it, guys. So anyway, hope you like uh, what I'm sharing here. Just my personal uh, challenges and uh, sharing the journey of building FirePress. Uh, can't wait to see you there in this community, actually. So, uh, and just to end, I help, I would say, 15 person at this point, like really one-to-one, -one, right? Because I want to understand what are your challenge. Uh, and, and I see like one of the biggest challenge is just to manage pictures and how to do your head banner. And of course, I'm gonna go deep on that. It's gonna be uh, one big part of the, you can build your website yourself. You don't need to hire an infography uh, or uh, some, someone who knows Photoshop and uh, stuff like that. Of course, pay someone if you can, oh, go for it. But if you want to do yourself, invest an hour, two, three hours, and then be in control of the infography for the rest of your life. I mean, go for it. Like it's part of your bundle when you get in FirePress. Um, so this is it, guys. Uh, I have to say goodbye and get back to work. See ya. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you like the show, please subscribe on YouTube or subscribe to the uh, Facebook page. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, I can't wait to help you very soon. Stay tuned and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.